Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss polynomial equations and inequalities. So here we have the equation y equals x times x minus 5 with its graph over here. It's a simple parabola. This may not look like a polynomial in this form, but we can quickly make it one by distributing the x. Get y equals x squared minus 5x, which of course gives us the same graph. So the question is, what happens if we change it to an inequality? Let's say we have y is less than or equal to x squared minus 5x. Well, it's going to give us the same graph, except that we need to shade in some of the values on one side of it. But how do we determine which side needs to be shaded in? Let's pick a point on the graph. How about the point 0, 1? Should be fairly easy to test. So we're going to take those two values and plug them into our inequality and see if it is still true. If it is true, we'll shade in that side of the graph. If it's not true, we'll shade in the other. OK, so we have 1 is less than or equal to 0 squared minus 5 times 0. Or in other words, 1 is less than or equal to 0. Well, that's clearly not true. So we're going to go ahead and sh shade in the other side. In fact, we can test that we've shaded the correct side by picking another test point on the opposite side of the curve. We'll do the same thing for 0, negative 1. So we plug it in again. 1, negative 1 is less than or equal to 0 squared minus 5 times 0. Again, this reduces to negative 1 is less than or equal to 0 which is obviously true. OK. What if instead of an inequality that can be equal, we have a strict inequality, like so? It's essentially the same thing. The only difference is that the values that lie along this curve are not valid. And in order to indicate that, the common convention is that we use a dashed line instead of a solid line. And there we have it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed polynomial equations and inequalities.